Hello YouTube, it's Barbara Jean. Another short video. Um, I just finished eating my breakfast. I hope I don't have anything in my teeth. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Um, I'm not kidding around here. Um, I wanted to talk about the um, the rapture for a minute. Um, it's not going to be a very long video, I hope. Uh, uh, and how I know that the church that is actually, the only church that is actually promised a rapture is the Church of Philadelphia by going back to one of the only other church that is highly praised of the Lord. And that is the Church of Smyrna. Oh, no, no, is that the Smyrna? Oh, yeah, yeah, Smyrna, the Church of Smyrna. So this is the ch second church. The second church um, <clears throat> is the persecuted church, and it all these churches that the Lord speaks of are still in existence today, um, in spirit. Um, they they had their beginnings in Asia Minor, in the land of Turkey, as we know it today, and they the 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 um, cities or the churches themselves may not be there any longer, but the spirit of these churches still exist. Now, Smyrna is the spirit of the persecuted church, and um, I want to show you that this is not, they are not raptured because of something that I, I should have seen before. I don't know if I've ever I said it before. Maybe I said it before, but I don't recall. Um, but it's funny how the Lord does things. He, he gives us little primers, you know, little little clues about things and how they all, when you take the little clues and you put them together, then they make a whole picture. Anyway, the Church of Smyrna is praised by the Lord for their uh, faithfulness, and they are, um, but they are, they're very persecuted, and many, many of them are uh, put to death. And let's just read it. Unto the angel of the Church of Smyrna write, These things say at the first and last, which is dead and is alive. So Jesus is speaking to the church. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. For none, fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. So the way this church overcomes is by faithfulness and not denying the Lord Jesus Christ despite all tribulation. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Okay, so that's important to remember. So um, he that overcometh. So the way this church overcometh is by by allowing themselves to be tribulated, to be persecuted, and even put to death, um, by and holding fast. So it's their faith that saves them, um, even unto death. And it says that he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. I want you to remember that, the second death. Okay, now we go to um, chapter 6, I think it's 6. And it's the fifth seal. And the fifth seal is open. And here's what it says, what happens. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw, saw, saw under the altar the souls, the souls. So these are disembodied spirits. Souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried aloud with, they cried with a loud voice saying, how long, O Lord, Holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet a little season, until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So they were this, this group of people are the souls. They're not given bodies. We know that at the, the sixth seal opens, that's when the rapture of the church happens. But this group of people are told to rest. They, even though they had given their lives for 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 Jesus Christ, they were faithful. They gave their lives. They are not um, they are not raptured, because we know the sixth seal. They they're told to wait till all who are going to be killed like they were. Well, who are the all? Well, those who are going to be killed after the the rapture and during the tribulation, 
And how do I know this? Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 20. And Jesus comes back and he throws Satan into uh, prison for a thousand years. Let's just read from verse 20, uh, chapter 20, verse 2. And he laid a hold of that dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, bound, uh, bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should not he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that had were beheaded from the for the witness of Jesus. Um, so who are these people who were given the judgment? Why are they given judgment? Well, they because they had spilt their blood on the earth. That's why. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received the mark upon their forehead and in their hands, or and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So these people are not raptured. They are resurrected because they had spilt their blood, did not receive the mark of the beast. So this is the same group of people. <laughs> we see the Smyrna church and the Laodicean church. Those are left behind church, the lukewarm church who are left behind. They are um, here at this point and they are given thrones because they had spilt their blood and did not receive the mark of the beast. They, they remained faithful and they are given the right to judge. That, that's why um, in the book of um, Revelations chapter 3 and the church of Laodicea, it says to them in verse 21, He that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I over, overcame and was set down at my father, with my father on his throne. So they are given a mighty uh, reward, but they are not raptured. They are given the, um, the right to rule and reign with Christ on earth. They are not in the New Jerusalem. They are here on earth, and they are given the privilege to rule and reign. Now, how do I know for sure that this is the Church of Smyrna? From here. Um, but the rest of the dead did not live again until a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. So this is the Lord, the Lord God himself, says this is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that is part of the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. That's on earth. These people were given the right because they had spilled their blood. Unbaptized believers, they are not raptured, but they are believers. They, but they are persecuted. They have given their lives for the Lord and they are told to wait until all who will be cruci or killed for the, the cause of Christ are fulfilled, or that is, at the end of the tribulation. And then all of them shall be resurrected. And the Bible says, blessed are those, because they shall not, um, there is no power of the second death over them. Where did we see that before? Well, we saw that over in chapter 2, the church of Smyrna. As I just read that just a few moments ago. And verse 11, he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death death. So those who participate in the first resurrection don't have to be worried of the second death. Interesting. So we know that that group of people that the Lord told to wait, to wait are not resurrected until the tribulation, end of the tribulation. And they are resurrected with the Laodicean church and they are given the right to rule and reign with Christ on earth for a thousand years. This is not the bride. Okay? So, um, think on it. God bless you. I'll talk to you later.